What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we're we back, back like, like we, we never left. left. We appreciate y'all for pulling back up for another movie night, yeah. for another movie reaction. Uh, we're going to be jumping into a, a sports film titled Field of Dreams. This one is starring Kevin Costner. Uh, other than that, I, I don't know anything else about this movie. This was just suggested to us. Yeah. And a lot of people was like, y'all should jump into sports movies too. Yeah. Uh, so uh, during one of our lives... We actually did. We actually did some polls uh, for like a lot of sports movies, and this was one of the ones that um, that was kind of at the top. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm excited to see it. I've never seen Field of Dreams before, but yeah. I enjoy sports stuff. Mm -hmm. Movies. I know the title, the name. They thought, always have good endings. Hey, and you, and <laughs> and not just that, but Asia and I, we were we were avid athletes in high school. We both played basketball. You played volleyball. And then you also play softball as well. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So you always diverse in shooting, playing softball, spiking. See, I, I really would have loved to have seen you in volleyball. Wait, like, so like, is this a, is a, is this a baseball movie? I don't Field know. Field of Dreams? Yeah, I don't know. When I think Field, I mean, Field of Dreams. I guess that could be any field because then there's the football field. Right. <laughs> the sports the field. field. Yeah. And I've, I've always heard, I've heard of this name. Field of Dreams, like I've heard of it, yeah. But I've I've never seen yeah. the movie, and uh, and it, yeah, just going back to what I was saying, Asia, I would have loved to have seen you play volleyball, like I the way just you, way somebody you just help you, like like set, spike, serve, like all that stuff. I would have loved to just like had to have like a front row seat of one of your games, <laughs> varsity games, just to sit back and just watch you just like do your thing. You I was know good I mean? too, bad. I was good. <laughs> okay, you you would have came to want to see me play. I I would. That's what I'm trying <laughs> to tell you. I would have paid. Top dollar, yeah. first admission to okay. see you play. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can, can you just show me like your form, like your your set? No. And your spike. Was you one of these spikers? Was you like an open hand spiker? Or was you like a closed fist spiker? No. Who spikes like that? Spikes like what? What they fist closed up like that? I thought that you how you spike it. You don't you? No, babe. Give them the pound game. No. Okay, but it's so it's always <laughs> with an open hand. Are you seriously? Yes. Okay. See, I didn't know that either. Nobody. Okay. I, I okay. <laughs> I was not aware. Everybody out there that played volleyball and thought that that's the way you're supposed to do it. That is not the way you're supposed to do it. Okay. okay? No. Okay. I, and I probably haven't played that much. I haven't paid that much close attention to saying exactly how they be spiking the ball. Okay. Yeah. Well, funny you should mention. Okay. Yeah. Usually when I'm watching volleyball, women's volleyball. I don't. I don't really completely pay attention to them. Actually, like how they the form and all this. Then what are you watching? <laughs> Asia, y'all, shout out to everybody in the building. We about no, to go ahead and get see? into this movie, <laughs> Field of Dreams. <laughs> forget all, forget all of that. Okay. Then, then what are you watching in particular? Okay. Because because you're supposed to get into all of that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. That's not what you I get said. It, I get all into it. But that's not what you said. But I get into it. I get into the sport of volleyball for sure. For sure. Okay. Men's, men's volleyball, especially like the women's volleyball, like when they play like in college, and then also uh, the beach volleyball too. It's cool. Okay. Yeah, right. All right. So we're going to let him make it with that. But if y'all are new here, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Absolutely. Y'all can tap into the Patreon and check out all of our unedited, uncut videos, as well as our behind-the-scenes footage Patreon polls, and access to all of our TV series. My name's Ray Kinsella. Mom died when I was three, and I suppose Dad did the best he could. Instead of Mother Goose, I was put to bed at night to stories of Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, <laughs> and the great Shoeless Joe Jackson. Cracker Jack ball players. I'm 36 years old. I love my family. Since I love 21. baseball, and I'm about to become a farmer. But until I heard the voice, I'd never done a crazy thing in my whole life. What voice? The voice in your head saying, I don't know. <laughs> Would you want to buy a farm? No. With a, with a whole bunch of like land for crops and stuff like that? You probably would just be scared of the field because you'd be, you be thinking about like the children <laughs> of the corn or something. Y'all have never seen that movie. As <laughs> <laughs> much as I talk about it. Wait. You see, that's why I would never want to feel, be hearing things. Make you feel crazy. If you build it, he will come. 
There gotta be a voice in his head saying that. <laughs> if you build it. Annie, what was that? What was what? That voice just now. What was it? We didn't hear anything. Okay, maybe that was just the rustle of the corn or the corn leaves. Yeah. I'm gonna get my ass out the grass. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna get out of that field. Oh, I'm glad that nobody pop out. It almost turned into like a like a scary movie for a quick moment. All right. So you see, I got up underneath this cover though. Oh. Pfft. Hey, are you really hearing voices? Just one. What did it say? If you build it, he will come. If you build what, who will come? He didn't say. <laughs> if you build, he will come. Babe, bump all of that. I'm waking up the whole house. <laughs> Look at the window. Everybody got to get up. Look, he got a, cl a clear view of the field. Did you ever hear voices out there? Who's hearing voices? Ray is. Not in the field. No, I'm not. <laughs> Noises. You know, that darn tractor. Uh, I'm just going to get some three in one oil, and that ought to do. No, he hearing voices. They're looking at him like he might be psycho. What I'm not going to do, though, is go back out there the next day. What I'm not going to do is tell anybody that I'm hearing voices because they're going to think I need to be in the mental institute. <laughs> That's how they was looking at him. If somebody came and told you that, you're going to look at him sideways, too. <laughs> if you build it, he will come. Whose voice is that? I don't know, but I'm about to go. You see that? A baseball field. See, that's Ray Liotta. Oh, I remember his face. Okay. But who is he? Like, he will come? Who is that? I don't know. I think I know what if you build it, he will come means. Ooh, why do I not think this is such a good thing? I think it means that if I build a baseball field out there that... Dang that. Shoeless Joe Jackson will get to come back and play ball again. Babe, don't ever tell me if voices are in your head. <laughs> Well, who am I tell? I don't know nobody else to tell other than you. <laughs> I don't know. You're the only person I got. You know I'm gonna be scared. Are you actually thinking of doing this? No. You can't even sleep. I want to build that field. <laughs> you are right. You're right. You're crazy. Uh, absolutely. Yes. You should do it. That's a heck no, man. You ain't tearing on my grass. <laughs> you gonna build that in my yard? Right. In, in the middle of the field. And it's like he had the vision exactly showing him exactly where it needed to be at, too. Right. Perfectly good crops. We gonna have us the harvest. Why are people watching? I don't know. He's gonna lose his farm. This ain't gonna lose his farm. Nobody could ever prove he did a single thing to lose those okay. games. Now they're building bleach and they got lights. What's suspend? Means they never let him play the game again. They gotta match it out all perfect and everything. So what do you do now though? I don't know. I'm pretty, isn't it? And I'm gonna look like a professional feel, everything. Right. You go walk back out there in the field and hear the voice again. <laughs> Look, now it's Christmas time. So nothing happened. <laughs> what? So how bad is it? Well, considering how much less acreage we have for corn, I say we'll probably almost break even. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. 
See? I told you. You can't keep the feel? Makes it real hard to keep the farm. So forget the feel, the farm. <laughs> you are kidding me. We'll put up some coffee. Why don't you go on outside? I'm not going That's a here. stranger. We're not finna. They got no baseball uniform and everything. Is this the person behind the voice? <laughs> Maybe. Shoot, if you build it, he will come. Well, he making me lose money. Well, he built it. <laughs> I've been waiting all winter. It's a it's an old uniform too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> See, that's me in the batting cages. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> <laughs> nice hit. Wait, wait. <laughs> Don't come close. No, he bring it. He bring it on in. Just throw it. Rick Kinsella. Joe Jackson. That's the Joe Jackson. The one that got suspended for, for life. Yeah. Can you pitch? <laughs> yeah. That yeah sounded like a no. <laughs> Kinda. When you play ball, when you play softball, you didn't pitch, did you? No, I was like the backup. Like I was, I, I learned how to do it, but I wasn't good enough, I guess, <laughs> to be a pitcher. Okay. I played shortstop. So you was the backup to the backup to the backup <laughs> to the backup pitcher. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like last re like last re resource. Okay. Yeah. Did they go over the imaginary fence? It, it was out of here. Oh, man, I used to hear like that every time. Every time. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh! Yeah. That's, That's why you don't want to be a pitcher. <laughs> they can't write for them. Man. That's the sweet spot. Throw it right in there. hit by one of those balls, though. Man, when I tell you, it's just something that stings. Whew. <laughs> like you never felt before. Yeah, you saw how he moved. Are you a ghost? <laughs> Karen. <laughs> just kidding. That's the burning question right now. There are others, you know. There were eight of us. You really mean a lot to them. Yeah. Anytime. They're all welcome here. So he's saying the other, it was, uh, it was eight of them total. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> he, yeah, he just disappeared. I know a lot about farming. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. I know a lot more than you think I know. Well, then how could you plow under your major crop? So he he showed straight mold of all of the, all of his crops. Sure did. Oh, he done brought a whole crop of ghosts. Eight of them. <laughs> like some ghosts that have been wandering around forever, and then they finally made it to heaven. Like, they run in a full fledged game. Come on, asshole. Pitch. Weaver. Nice. Somebody watch him. <clears throat> Sorry, kid. It's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> Ray? Honey, um, mom and everybody's leaving now. Okay. I, wonder if they, I wonder if they can see him. Rusty? See, there's only eight of them, so they can't play a real game. Eight of what? Them. Oh. He can't see them then. Do you see the baseball men right now? Of course I do. <laughs> you don't see these people? It's not funny, Annie. Look, 
Look okay, at he just walked off. <laughs> they wasn't playing. They didn't see him. No. They couldn't see it. This is really interesting. <laughs> now they're going to really call you crazy, right? I would think you are too. Ease his pain. What? What the, hell, what the hell does that mean? Ease his pain. What pain? All right? Whose pain? Ease his pain. Whose pain? I don't know. Shoeless Joe. His father. Who? Mrs. Kessenick, that book you're waving about is hardly smart. It is considered by many critics to be the classic novel about the 1960s. It's pornography! No, 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 no. The Supreme Court says it's not. And its author, Mr. Mann... He is sick! Oh, oh. They can like they from the Bible Belt or something. And that is why right-thinking school boards all across the country have been banning this man's S-H-I-T since 1969. <laughs> S-H-I-T. <laughs> You know why he stopped writing books? Because he masturbates. What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I experienced the 60s. No, I think you had two 50s and moved right on into the 70s. <laughs> Annie, look this. Oh, yeah? Well, your husband plowed under his corn and built a baseball field. <laughs> Now, there's an intelligent response. Annie. Oh. Uh-oh. That was the wrong thing. I think so. At uh. least he is not a book burner, you Nazi cow. Oh. At least I'm not married to the biggest horse's ass in three counties. All right, Beulah, do you want to step outside? Fine. <laughs> Annie. Annie. Let's oh, go. It's on and popping. Who wants to burn books? Who wants to spit on the Constitution of the United States of America? Anybody? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right. Now, who's for the Bill of Rights? Who thinks freedom is a pretty darn good thing? Come on, come on, let's see those hands! Don't be scared. <laughs> he know he gotta join in. Shoot. Shoot. Say something now. I love you. I'm proud of you. Annie, I mean it. Annie, what? We gotta go. We gotta go. This is great. <laughs> Ain't no telling what the PTA meetings are like. You Terrence Mann. What about him? That's who's paying. Oh, how do you know that? I, I don't know. I just know. I mean, I was right about building a field, wasn't I? Yeah. Well, what's his pain? I don't know. Well, how are you supposed to ease I it? I don't know. Ray. <laughs> Look. He's my favorite writer, too. But what's Terrence Mann got to do with baseball? She put up a good question. Good question. What does he have to do with baseball? As a child, my earliest recurring dream was to play at Ebbets Field with Jackie Robinson. Oh. Uh. So, in order to ease his pain, you're supposed to take him to a ball game. Yes. Huh? I think something's gonna happen to the game. I don't know what, but there's something at Fenway Park and I gotta be there with Terrence Mann to find it out. Is Fenway the one with the big green wall in left field? Yeah. I dreamt last night you were at Fenway with Terrence Mann. No way. Was I sitting on the first base side? Yes. About halfway up on the aisle? Yeah, you were keeping score and eating I was eating a hot, hot dog. dog. I had the same dream. <laughs> I'll help you pack. Whoa. You see that? That's creepy. <laughs> you said you were eating a hot dog. <laughs> wow. They had the same dream. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Uh, I feel like I would start trying to listen to, <laughs> to the voice. You're a little more convinced now, right? <laughs> I would have to listen to the voice. Especially with his wife hearing it too. Right. Or, or see having the dream. Yes. All right, stupid. Put your hands up and get in the trunk. Nah, I don't do it the mobster way. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Oh, look. Nobody. Sir, my name's Ray Kinsella. Oh, whoa. That's not like a dungeon door. I'm not about that. Your clothes and... <laughs> Forget it. Like, you got some, like, two, three deadbolt locks on it or that something. That sounded like it was going to take off a couple fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Prison door. That didn't work. 
Don't go ring the doorbell. But why, I wonder why, Ter- why Terrence, man, why he's so hostile, though. I don't know. Because clearly he is not the one and he do not have time. He's not the one to make time. And he's, he's not interested. He's highly agitated. Yeah. Oh, he's going to try the mobster route. Okay, <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> Now look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I just need you to come with me for a little while and what are you what are you doing? I'm gonna beat you with a crowbar and then you go away. Okay. Whoa, wait, you can, oh, can't do that. The rules here? Oh no, they're not rules here. Somebody coming at you with a crowbar, I'm <laughs> about to sway. He not playing. <laughs> no games, okay? My name's Ray Kinsella. You used my father's name for a character in one of your stories. John Kinsella. You're seeing a whole team of psychiatrists, aren't you? I don't... <laughs> I don't blame you for thinking that. A whole team. If you just come to this game with me, I swear to God, I will never bother you again. Okay, so what's supposed to happen at this game? I don't know. Go the distance. Uh-oh. Go the distance. So you need to stop talking to me and code. Uh, and he the <laughs> only one that can hear it. What the? Chisholm. You didn't see that? See what? It's gone now. Whenever you want to go, we can go. Fine, let's go. Uh, look, they just got there. You know me, I pay all this money to go to a game. I'm not I'm not leaving until it's over. I'm gonna watch the game. You got another message, didn't you? What? I think I'm crazy. I already think you're crazy. What did it say? Said the man's done enough. Leave him alone. <laughs> you told him to go the distance. Yeah. I think but, I but he asked him, you got another message. Yeah, I think at this point though, he confused. What? Moonlight Graham. So what? <laughs> Wait. Go the distance. Yes. Do you know what it means? Yes. Yeah, we both crazy. What? It means we're going to Minnesota to find Moonlight Grayer. <laughs> what, are we, what are we doing? We find him. How the hell am I supposed to know that? Got it. That's I'm like, right. That's you're right. Why you ain't saying nothing? <laughs> Got me thinking I'm all crazy by myself. Right. Doc Grave is dead. He died in 1972. Well. He always wore an overcoat. He had white hair. And he always carried an umbrella. What was the umbrella for? I think it got to be a habit, you know, something to hang on to. But if you asked him, he really said he used it to beat away his lady admirers. <laughs> Godfather. This year's. One of this year's ten best. Huh. I said 72 on it. Mm hmm. Oh, he has an umbrella. Oh. Dr. Graham? That look like him. Got the silver hair. Yeah. I never got to bat in the major leagues. Mm. I'd have liked to have that chance just once. To stare down a big league pitcher. To stare him down and just as he goes into his wind up, wink. Make him think you know something he doesn't. <laughs> That's my wish, Rick and Silla. That's my wish. And is there enough magic out there in the moonlight to make this dream come true? What would you say if I said yes? I think I'd actually believe you. Hmm. Wow. Wow. I really think you're supposed to come with us. No. But your wish. It'll have to stay a wish. Oh. I was born here. I lived here. I'll die here. I'll die here. <clears throat> I better be getting home. At least you'll think I got a girlfriend. Look at his smile. It's like from murder. It's like the perfect smile. I talked to the bank and I asked them if we could miss a payment or two. Or two. 
How far are you going? How far are you going? Iowa. <laughs> well, if it's okay with you, I think I'll just ride along a while. I play baseball. What? Hop in. Uh, what is the coincidence? You stop and pick up a hitchhiker and he plays <laughs> bass. He plays baseball too. Hi. I'm Archie Graham. Archie Gr No way. Use a lot. You are right. What happened to your father? He never made it as a ball player, so he tried to get his son to make it for him. By the time I was 10, playing baseball got to be like eating vegetables or taking out the garbage. So when I was 14, I started to refuse. I packed my things, said something awful, and left. After a while, I wanted to come home, but I didn't know how. Made it back to the funeral. Wow. So he probably living with a lot of regret. Yeah. Just leaving abruptly like that from home. Basically. What was the awful thing you said? I don't want to be like you. He said I could never respect a man whose hero was a criminal. Who was his hero? Shoeless Joe Jackson. <laughs> can't bring my father back. So the least you can do is bring back his hero. Well. Now I know what everybody's purpose here is. Except mine. I'm trying to tell you, you can be one lost human being when you don't know, when you, when you don't know your purpose in life. Right. It's more than just one team there. Are you serious? Welcome back. Thanks, Joe. Wow. Look at Terrence, man. Look how he looking. You wouldn't believe how many guys wanted to play here. We had to beat him off with a stick. Hey, that's Smokey Joe Wood. And Mel Ott. And Gil Hodges. And Ty Cobb wanted to play. Ty Cobb. You came to play ball, didn't you? Yes, sir. All right, we'll go warm up. Yes, sir. Rookies. See, look. Unbelievable. I bet he can't even it's more than eyes. that. It's perfect. It's a miracle. Right? Uh -oh. I used to try so hard to like slide and get dirty when I played. Slide like how? Like feet first or? It, yeah, didn't, it like, didn't matter. Like they do it today. You just want to get dirty. Yeah. So, oh my gosh. Oh my hey, um, That's a ball. So what do you think the next one's going to be? Well, either loan away or in my ear. He's not going to want to load the bases. So look for low and away. Right. But watch out for in your ear. How can you do that when the ball's coming so fast? You gotta watch it. Oh, I could not do it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> That's the whole point. The skill in baseball is watching the ball in the back. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. That's deep enough. Hang it up! <laughs> oh, he got it. Look, they still out. Uh oh, here he comes. You're interrupting the game, Mark. As a matter of fact, it's Terrence Mann. Right. How do you do? I'm the Easter Bunny. Right, listen. We need to... <laughs> I'm offering you a way to keep your home because I love my sister. Now, my partners, Ray, they don't give a damn about you, and they're ready to foreclose right now. Daddy, we don't have to sell the farm. Karen, please. Just wait. <laughs> wait. You think his brother-in-law crazy. Um, what what people, sweetheart? From all over. They'll just decide to take a vacation, see? And they'll come to Iowa City. They'll think it's really boring, so they'll drive up and want to pay us, like buying a ticket. You're not seriously listening to this, are you? Yes. Now he think it's now he think his sister crazy. It will be just like when they were little kids a long time ago. And they'll watch the game and remember what it was like. What the hell is she talking about? 
people will come, Ray. You're broke, Ray. You sell now or you lose everything. Don't do it, Ray. I'm not saying. Oh, yeah. You're crazy. Yeah, Absolutely nuts. <laughs> Can't do it, pal. I mean, Annie, Ray, you build a baseball field in the middle of nowhere and you sit here and you stare at nothing. Not nothing. And you turn your daughter into a damn space Get your kid. hands off. Right oh. now, you damn it. Oh! I'm gonna call emergency. Annie, wait. What? Just wait. What do we got here? What the? <laughs> you see how he look at it? WTF? Oh, she was eating a hot dog. Yeah, she was. Oh, she'd be all right. She'll be turning handsprings before you know it. How? But how? How? How did he? I best be getting on home. Before Alicia begins to think I got a girlfriend. <laughs> Wouldn't work for me one day, will you, boy? Okay, Doc. Yeah. Is that the A's? The A's, I believe, yeah. The Cardinals. When did these ball players get here? Wait! You were good. Aww. That's probably exactly what he needed to hear. Mm -hmm. You could tell me he made it to the major leagues, but he hardly even got to play. Yeah, he only went up to bat once. Do not sell this farm, Ray. Look, you look. gotta keep this farm. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> but how was he able to see that, though? Like, after the little girl fell, then he could see, but he didn't see him until after he stepped because off Because he field. didn't believe. Hey, do you want to come with us? Well, to, what, to walk to the other side? You mean it? No, not you. Him. I'm not doing that. What you... Out there. What is out there? Come and find out. <laughs> no. Wait a second, why him? I built this field. You wouldn't be here Great. if it weren't for me. That's well, it. you wouldn't be here I'm if it weren't for me. You have a family. I know, but I want to know what's out there. <laughs> I want to see it. But you're not invited. <laughs> <laughs> you can't sit with us. What's in it for me? Is that why you did this? For you? Okay. I think you better stay here, Ray. I think you better stay too. There is something out there, Ray. And if I had the courage to go through with this, what a story it'll make. Shoeless Joe Jackson comes to Iowa. Mmm. And people will come to see. Right. I ain't gonna, I'm not even gonna hold you. I'll be scared. I'm not going. <laughs> Especially when you are right into the corn. Right? Not no. Knowing. You want to come with us? Absolutely not. Uh-uh. <laughs> look how he look how he touching. He looking like. <laughs> You gotta, gotta make sure the coast is clear. <laughs> you see that? And he just disappeared. Wait, so... He crossed over to the other side, babe. Right, but was he already one of them to begin with? No, couldn't, he couldn't have been. If you build it, he will come. You know what? It's my father. No way. That's why. Hi. I just wanted to thank you folks for putting up this field and letting us play here. I'm John Kinsella. Mm. Is there a heaven? Oh, yeah. It's the place dreams come true.
Maybe this is heaven. Heaven on earth. <laughs> look at his mitt and then look at his mitt. Oh, he got a newer one. Yeah. Look. Look at the cars. Look at that. Wow. Oh, I got goosebumps. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> they did come. Is that... That was such a good movie. Oh. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> Shoeless Joe Jackson. <laughs> they even said Ty Cobb. Like, someone like the Pioneers. Well, to me, at least. Someone like the Pioneers of, like, baseball, for okay. the most part. But some of those, I didn't recognize, like, the majority mm -hmm. of those names. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. Like, Just, some of them Only founded, Ty Cobb is the only one I remember. That's the only one. But I, I'm like, I'm not even going to lie. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Shoeless Joe, Shoeless Joe Johnson, or Joe Jackson. I've never heard of him before. You okay. Know? And, well, and, and one, go ahead. No, I was going to say, obviously, then he must have existed. Yeah, they, these are, like, real people. Like, Big time players then. Yeah, I would assume from just like back in the days, or, or at least some of his favorite ones okay. for sure. And 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 I don't know. It took a little while for me like to kind of understand why. And I think that's I, you know to understand why that he that he built the field. Yeah. With him saying that if you build it, he will come. But like as you start seeing that like later later and later, you start seeing like all the other players in, in them coming. So I kind of feel like you know with him telling a story about the eight players that got kicked out of baseball, uh -huh. I really feel like. Like, you know, you know, when you leave this earth and you kind of leave this earth with like things undone, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes, you know, like they say, your spirit can, can sometimes be uh, unsettled. And I feel like with him building the field, it that was kind of, that was like, that was like the way of those particular spirits to be able to like to play out their days or to be able to do something that they still felt like that they left here on earth yeah and loved know? obviously and just re yeah and really loved had a real passion for it. so when he built it it's almost like he built like a a sanctuary for them yeah, to come and just feel like, like we can come and do what we love here and, and be as we are and because know. because it because so, it, so was it that they couldn't see like the brother that came and was trying to take over and do the well the brother things? couldn't see them right but after the little girl fell he could see them after that. Yeah, after and, the doc. Yeah. Cro kind of after after the the doc kind of like crossed over and came, and then that's when he noticed them. So I guess something had to happen for him to like believe believe have some type of belief inside of him. Yeah. For him to believe in the uh, unbelievable, I guess you can say. Okay. And for, then, for what he couldn't see. Yeah. Was and, actually going on. Okay. And okay. Then, exactly. And then with you saying that it was like a sanctuary for them, that's why they kept saying like, "Is this like heaven?" So, but who you know? who was the voice? Was it the one guy that was out the first, the very first guy that was out there on the field? Shoeless Joe Jackson. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I think I think that was Shoeless Joe Jackson. That I think was that him, was his voice. The voice. Okay. So he was telling them basically, like, I if think, you build it, then your dad would come. Basically. No. You know what? I think that was his, his, dad's his dad's voice. It was his dad the whole time. Yeah, and and that was like his younger, his younger, like his younger self saying that. Back when his dad was younger and played baseball, okay. that was him saying that to him and whispering that to his to his son the whole time that you know when he bought the when he bought the farm, right? Like if you build it, he will come. He will come. Okay, mm -hmm. I thought it was the other guy, but but for whatever reason, no, because yeah, he did. He said that at the very end. He said no, that was he. He said it. I think he was making reference to his father. Remember he was walking kind of out to the field. The one guy that I'm talking about, Shoeless Joe Jackson, is that mm -hmm. the guy? Mm -hmm. He was walking back out to the field, and he said, he said something, and then he turned around, and he said no. I think he said no, like he said it, or he said like he made reference to his his father. That wasn't him saying, saying it. it. Yeah, saying it. yeah. But I thought the entire time it was him. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> No. But it took some time for him to realize exactly who that was that was speaking to him beyond the grave, you know. He, like he had, to, he had, like he had to go, uh, you know. He had to kind of like make it all full circle. He had yeah. to go out and find Terrence Mann, and then uh, another thing that kind of like that that was real, real kind of odd is like on the side of the road when they picked up Graham, 
that was that 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 was just like a younger version of the doctor. Something you know? told me though. I felt like it was just something about how he looked and why he was standing there. He's like, no, there hadn't been cars all day or something. Exactly. He said, and I'm like, okay, let me wait to see what he say about who he is. Like it's like the final is. destination yeah. vehicle that's picking you up, almost like 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 heaven sent. A, a, a vehicle particularly for you like fate and it stopped to, yeah and it he stopped here for you to get in right it. right yeah you know? and, and and again you know baseball is america's favorite pastime that's what that, that, that's where it got his nickname and so i feel like there's always like like great heritage um you know authenticity and and, and just like a lineage of just like great players that really like meant something to not just like the game of baseball, but just, just meant, a lot of people in general. Just meant something personally to people. Yeah, like you know, have yeah. people always have like a, a a particular like attachment to not just the sports, but like the players that played the sport too. And I feel like this has a lot to do with that too. When they when when they're sitting out there looking at all these different players that they grew up as children, like seeing seeing them play, or rather like reading about them playing. Yeah, I think that's like the aesthetic part. Uh, of this movie Field of Dreams that's so crazy to hear you say that because I feel like even for me like thinking back I feel like when I played baseball that was probably <laughs> like my my favorite sport the best pastime like mm. I just enjoyed it so much but that's what, that's what they call it but as you yeah. say that it's just like how people can connect to you know sports and being attached to certain things like that mm. like I feel the same way but I don't know it's weird because as much as I loved it, like, as I, you know, got older and I got into high school and stuff like that, like, yeah. I didn't really follow professional sports like that. I just... You just played. I just played so, <laughs> and loved the sport. Okay, so in baseball, you didn't have, like, a favorite player? No. Wow, that's very interesting because, look at this, like, I didn't even play baseball. I didn't. I never played baseball one season, not even in Little League, Babe, not like even in only... high school or middle school, but I was one of those ones that collected, like, baseball cards. Did you really? And, yeah, baseball cards, and had, like, favorite players, and it's crazy because I, I never really, like, watched baseball, but if you could believe I, I collected baseball cards and I had, like, favorite players, it's kind of weird because I didn't watch it that much. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I played it and I didn't even like follow it like that. If anybody asked me like who my favorite player was, you could probably guess who I would say. Ten minute position. Pitcher. Nolan Ryan. <laughs> it <was> Nolan Ryan. That's <laughs> it. Nolan Ryan was like one of my favorite players. Like, Nolan Ryan and Ricky Henderson. I don't those even are know, my see, favorite babe, I wouldn't even know who Ricky Henderson is. I just yeah. feel like Nolan Ryan Ryan at the time was probably the <laughs> only player that I could name. <laughs> I didn't know baseball players right. like that. If you build it, he will come. Yeah. And I, I, like I said, I don't like we never even talked baseball before. So no. when you said to say something about your favorite, I'm like, is it Nolan Ryan? <laughs> I think everybody in Texas that played baseball at some point in time, Nolan Ryan, Nolan probably Ryan was, was their favorite like the player. Only one. Yes. Probably. Yeah. Probably for me, it's so funny because he was like a though. goat. He was like he was like he was almost like bigger than baseball to people in Texas yeah. to a degree. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. You know what it's I mean? That, I think that's probably and all we ever heard about was Nolan Ryan. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I feel so bad for saying that because I'm like, I, I feel like I said Nolan Ryan was my favorite player after he retired. And I was like, oh, he he retired. Okay, I guess I got to figure out a new yeah. one. <laughs> like, and, and, and like I said, when I collected baseball cards, I think I kind of, like, like my fandom for ba for baseball did go up. Like, I would ask to, like, check out, like, the highlights and start watching some of the games. Yeah. But for me to, like, know players the way that I know them but didn't watch it, like, thinking about it now, I'm just like, that's weird. Like, I didn't play, but I could sit here and tell you, like, the bad and average because I, I was really into, like, the stats and, like, the back of the car, who's bad and average. Was, like, <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Like, it, it was weird. Babe, it was I didn't weird. even know what none of that meant, okay? I didn't even know what none of that even meant. Yeah. I'm not even... <laughs> I wouldn't even understand it when I would look at it. Yeah. That's why I never collected baseball cards. I'm like, I don't even know what, what this any means, of this stuff at the bottom. What of these it, numbers on the back. stand for? I mean, I knew the game. Like, if you were to tell me he had this many outs, this many pitches, and Man this averages, many averages, steals, right. things like, like that. Yeah. If you could just tell me what it was, but I'm like, I don't even know. I don't even know what none of this means. Yeah. What? And and so I <laughs> and so I guess for me, like with us watching Field of Dreams, it kind of just took me back. To like my childhood 
of like that little small couple of years that yeah. I just really, really was like a fan of baseball. Yeah. You know? I could see that. Mm -hmm. I could see that too, yeah. And same for me though. For a, a quick little second, I kind of yeah. felt like that. Not going to lie. Who, 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 who was Terrence Mann? Who played his part? I can't remember his name. They um, just played his part right here. I'm not sure, but that guy. Oh, it's going it's to bother me all day um, long. Wasn't he like Babe Ruth in the Sandlot? Like he was supposed to be Babe Ruth in the Sandlot, who? the movie. Who? This Terrence Mann. Remember they knocked on the on the. That's door. what I'm saying. But who is he? I don't know. Who, what's his real know. name? Let me see if I can go back. I'm not sure what his what his uh, actual name is. Oh my gosh. Um. Oh, there, you had the credits up. It was you probably would have saw it. Just keep going with the credits. I know, but it was probably like at the very top. Yeah. Terrence Mann. James Earl Jones. That's his name. That's his name. Yeah. Yeah, he's been in a lot of movies. He's like a, like probably one of the most revered actors too of his time too. Yeah. So so that was interesting to see him playing in this movie next to Kevin Costner. Sandlot. Yeah. That tells you how far back it goes. I remember mm -hmm. our baseball team went to the movies to go see that movie. Wow, your softball team? Yeah. Yeah. We went as a whole team. Our coach took us to go see it. <laughs> Yeah, but but it, but but I think that has significance to y'all because y'all were like young at that time. Yeah, and y'all were like young playing baseball. Literally. So I could so I could see like that attachment where they were like, yeah, I gotta go see this movie. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. that was yeah. I lived for it. Okay, yeah. but and, and but like I said, there was only one like gasping moment was when when his daughter fell off the bleachers and she fell back and it like her, her lips was blue. Yeah. That's the only part to me. I was just like. <gasps> Oh man! I thought, of the, of I thought the entire movie. Go get up and start fighting the, the brother-in-law. Okay. Like, okay. You know, knock my child off these right. bitches. I'm just saying. You know, every movie got to have like a little dramatic part. <laughs> that was like the most dramatic part of this movie when she fell. But, but I was like, not expecting for I that wasn't to happen. Either. It just came out of nowhere. Dang. But I'm but I'm glad that she was perfectly yeah. fine. Perfectly fine. Yeah. But this was a good movie though. Like you said, it just it did fester up a lot of memories. A lot of old memories when yeah. you were younger, especially especially if you was a baseball fan. Yeah. Yeah, so y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section. And if y'all enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. We're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Absolutely. And remember, y'all, play ball. <laughs> Peace out. Yeah. Bye.